Hey, hey, problem solvers, Colfax Math here. This is a practical math channel where anybody can learn how to use math every day in their lives. Today I was going to go over how to pass any class, and specifically a math class. Uh, it seems kind of obvious, but let me put the camera over my shoulder. We'll average a couple numbers out, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's take a look at two different scenarios. First scenario, I'm well prepared. I get 10 out of 10 on the first quiz. I get an A. Second scenario, I, f I don't study, I don't know what's going on, I get a 5 out of 10, I get an F, and I'm going to average those two grades out. I add them together, 15 out of 20, that averages out to a 7.5 out of 10, it averages out to a C. So first case scenario, A on the first quiz, F on the second quiz, average to a C. Here's another scenario, 10 out of 10 on the first quiz, I get an A. I'm actually nervous. I don't want to take the second test. I didn't study. So rather than go in and do the best I can, I just skip it. I get a 0 out of a 10. I get an F. So both cases, an A and an F. However, when I average these out, I get 10 out of 20. That reduces to 5 out of 10. It averages out to an F. So the first scenario, the A and the F average to the C. The second scenario, I don't even bother to go in, get a big old goose egg in that grade book and it averages out to an F. So the point of the story is you got to get into class and get those assignments in no matter what. Even if you don't know it, you got to go in and try your very best, and that A and that F will average out to a C. However, if you give up and don't even show, and you get a big goose egg in the grade book, that A and F is going to average out to an F. So get in there, get the work done, do the very best you can, and it will always work out for the better.